October 21st, St. Ursula and Companions. St. Ursula was born in Great Britain of Christian parents. She was sought in marriage by a young pagan prince, but had already vowed her life and her heart to Jesus. Later, a number of Christian families had entrusted the education of their children to the care of the pious Ursula, and some persons of the world had in like manner placed themselves under her direction. England being then harassed by the Saxons, Ursula deemed that she ought, after the example of many of her compatriots, to seek asylum in Gaul. But during the crossing of the channel a storm arose, and the ships, instead of reaching western Gaul, were driven towards the mouth of the Rhine. The Huns, who at the time were ravaging Europe, saw the ships and were making ready to pillage them and inflict on these virgins and women a dishonor more dreaded by them than death. Commanded by Ursula, they resisted heroically and so well that suddenly the sentiments of the barbarians changed. They took up their arms to be rid of this peaceful army. Soon the victims fell under the blows of the executioners and their souls winged their way to heaven. The prince of the Huns, struck by Ursula's beauty, spared her at first. He tried to console her for the death of her companions and promised to marry her. When she did not assent, he shot her with an arrow, and this consecrated virgin fell with the others. Many churches have relics of this army of martyrs, but no region is more richly endowed than that of Cologne, since it is to that city that the Christians of the region devotedly carried the mortal remains of the martyrs. In the seventh century, a magnificent church rose over their tomb, whose walls itself served as reliquaries. This holy cemetery has been rendered illustrious by many miracles. Pilgrims, and especially young girls, have come from all over Europe to beg protection for their virginity from St. Ursula and her companions. The very arrow which pierced St. Ursula is still conserved there. A religious who had great devotion to these martyrs had fallen dangerously ill. A virgin appeared to him and said, I am one of the virgins whom you honor. To reward you for the eleven thousand our fathers you recited to honor us, you will have our assistance at the hour of death. And soon the glorious troop came to escort his soul. St. Ursula is the patron of young teachers and many congregations of nuns dedicated to education bear her name.